Hello everyone, welcome back to Drama Fan. Finally, the first official trailer of Alchemy of Souls Light and Shadow has been released. Not only that, after TVN released the first trailer, they gave us the first teaser poster. I cannot be happier to think that the drama will come in less than a month. TVN informed from their post that Alchemy of Souls Light and Shadow will be taking place three years after the last story. After watching the teaser and seeing the poster, there is a possibility that the woman is the same person, since drama poster usually show us the main character. In the trailer, there is a woman who is wearing the same clothes as Naksu in the previous trailer. They are both wearing the same color clothes. And the woman's hands in the poster is also to be seen wearing the same color. This woman seems to be Naksu because the woman's hand has this sign that tell us she is a soul sifter. At the end of Alchemy of Souls, we know that Naksu has run wild and is in the process of being petrified. However, the woman in the trailer might be a different person from the poster, not only because Jong so Min will not be in part 2, but also because of the timeline. Most cases of the soul sifters who run wild will immediately die when they are using their skills. Which means, this is also applicable to Naksu who use her skill to fight and run away from Jinmu's bell sound. Based on that, Naksu who is running wild couldn't have survived for 3 years. Since this woman is wearing the same clothes like Naksu, they both might be saved by the same person. The person who always help a soul sifter. Since it looks like this woman has been treated in the excluded space for running wild. Also, since they told us that Ko Yun Jong will be the main female lead in part 2, which means Naksu is still alive. So that person could be the one who saved Naksu body after Jinmu tried to burn Naksu body. And that person could also have helped Naksu who is in Mudok's body and return her soul to her original body that the person has saved. When a soul sifter runs wild and turns into rocks, they will die. Another reason that this woman might not be Naksu is because the trailers show us that Jangguk is trying to kill the soul sifter. It means after 3 years, there are still a lot of soul sifters in Deho, and this doesn't rule out the possibility that the woman is just one of the soul sifters who that person trying to save, or it could even be that this woman is a victim of someone who wants her original body. In this video, I also want to talk about the first teaser poster. From this poster, we can tell that Jangguk and Naksu will be back together based on the bird's eggs in their hands. And I'm really glad that they didn't turn their bird's eggs into a ring. Originally, the reason Jangguk turned the jade into the bird's eggs is as a token to remind them to stay loyal and dutiful. This teaser poster really reflects the drama title, which is Light and Shadow. Jangguk is wearing a black clothes and Naksu is wearing a white clothes. The light at the back seems to tell us that the light will overcome the shadow, which means Naksu will influence Jangguk and make him return to his old self, especially when he knows Naksu is still alive. With their bird's eggs, Jangguk will still believe that Naksu is still alive, likewise with Naksu who still believe that Jangguk is still alive. Although they know that the possibility of their partner staying alive is really low, but with that belief, they will keep looking for each other. That's why Jangguk returned to Jong Jinggak after 3 years. The background has the same background as when Jangguk with Soyul and Gowon in Jong Jinggak. Since it looks dark, I believe he was there while everyone was asleep. So he is waiting for Pak Jin because he wants to tell him that he is back when he should have died back then. But because of the ice stone, he can come back to life. Jangguk also thinks that he who has the ice stone power should be turning everything back into its right place. That's why he goes and kills the soul sifters. Based on these scenes, it seems that Jangguk only moves at night and in secret. He doesn't want people to find or see him. That's why when he finds people he needs to eliminate, he said, no one, not even one man will come out of here alive. I cannot wait for another trailer and poster that TVN will give us. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching and let me know your thoughts in the comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.